Probably you have wondered how to play split screen on your Windows computer when you have one joystick and a keyboard. You would go to this section here and you will see that you can only set up one player and you cannot set up the second player and if you wonder how to do that you want to play with your friends parents or kids let me show you how you can do it so here i will explain you how to set up a joystick and a keyboard so that two players can play with each other so one player will use a keyboard and the other one will use a joystick in my previous videos I showed how to connect this joystick to the computer and make Unite detect this joystick. You need to install an extra program for that. Please check the link to that video in the video description. As you can see now I can only change the cars but I cannot start the split screen game. First thing we need to do is to have a joystick first and install an extra program so that Unite can detect this joystick. So I explained that in the previous videos. Let me turn on that program. So this app is called DS4 Windows and I'm launching it. I have my joystick connected to the computer with Bluetooth connection. Now it is detected. Now I go back to Unite and I need to press any button on the joystick so that Unite detects this joystick. So this joystick is already set up but my keyboard is not set up for Unite for split screen mode. Let me press this button here and now it's ready to go. But the keyboard doesn't work yet. I can only change the cars. I don't know what button I should press to start the split screen mode. Now I need to convert this keyboard into a joystick. The app that does it is called X360CE. I need to run it. And I have here the keyboard setup. The procedure here is a bit complicated, but I will show you how to do that. You need to know which buttons you need to map to the keyboard buttons here so that you can actually control your car in split screen mode and start the screen split mode. For example, I know that to confirm the car, you need to press this button here, this button. So I mapped this button to a key on the keyboard. As I launched this application already and I have everything mapped, when I go back to Unite and press the button, that I mapped, which is this one, actually detected another one, and it's something strange that did not happen to me before, but the logic I want to explain here is that I know that this button is mapped to this button, and when I press it, it will confirm the car, but I need to remove this one, I have some kind of duplication. Let me start all over again. So now I have two players detected. Let's check if I press this button. Okay, I get the first player confirmed. And now I press this button and I have this keyboard confirmed as well. Now we can start the split screen mode. We press next. And finally we can play in split screen mode. So if you're interested in this mode, I will now show you the steps on how to set up your keyboard. So here you can see I'm pressing the buttons on the keyboard and the car is moving. And I have this joystick which I also can use to play with it. Okay, so this is possible to do. You need two programs. One that allows Unite to detect this joystick 
and please check the video link in the video description on how to do that and second step is to install the program that detects the keyboard and allows you to map the keyboard buttons to the let's say virtual joystick to the buttons here so this keyboard is kind of linked to another virtual joystick that is kind of created in the system and kind of you with your keyboard control this virtual joystick so let's go to the internet and search this app by its name and this is the page where you download the file choose download for all games and it starts downloading this file in zip format now we need to extract this folder don't extract it in the downloads folder choose some folder don't use Windows folders or any protected folders. So now I need to run it. And actually it looks like all the data that I had already has been saved in some files. So I already have it again set up because some files were saved on my computer already before. But let me remove this keyboard from here and show you how it looks like when you install it for the first time. So you have nothing here. So you have here controller 1 and you need to go to add button. And here you have all options. You have a joystick here if you have it already installed, a mouse and a keyboard. We are interested in the keyboard, so we choose keyboard and we say add selected device. And now we have under controller 1 this keyboard here, it says keyboard. Next you will have to map the buttons. So my settings have been saved to my computer already before because I had this application installed already. Let's clear everything. Now you can see I have no mapping here. How do we map it? You don't have to map all your joystick buttons to the keyboard. For Unite you just need to map a few buttons. In my case I had this problem here when I tried to map Nitrogen button and Acceleration button. Both of them would accelerate the car and use Nitrogen as soon as it had Nitrogen in the car. So when I press the mapped Acceleration button on my keyboard here it would accelerate the car and would launch nitrogen. So what I did was another solution. In Unite I had to change my acceleration settings to automatic acceleration so the car would accelerate all the time. And then I would use the acceleration button just to launch nitrogen. This is not a big deal and maybe will not happen in your computer. But this problem was only related to my keyboard buttons. The joystick works fine. And if you don't know what buttons you want to map, I suggest to run the game and play with the joystick and see what buttons you use and which functions those buttons have. So that then you can map the buttons on your keyboard to the buttons that you need. Let's say here I already know that this is nitrogen, this is acceleration. Let's do nitrogen and acceleration and I will show you the problem I have. So on the picture we have a similar joystick. In most cases they are very similar. So we have two buttons here. So I click on this button here. And now this is acceleration. I will use this button here to accelerate. Now it has been recorded. Now the nitrogen, I press this button here and I press space button here. Now it's mapped, you see this data here is coming. Then I need to turn the car, I know that this stick turns the car. So let's press to the right button and I want to turn it with this one. And now I press this button here and I press this button here to turn left. 
I know that this one is to slow down the car. So I press this button and I press this button. Now I also know that this button is used to confirm my car in split screen mode. So I press this button here and I choose this button here. You can choose any button. I know that is the same time another button for nitrogen. And this one is for drifting. And I will press this button. And I will press this button. And I will map all of these just in case here. And I need to save it all. So save all. Now let's go to Unite and check if it worked. Let's go to Multiplayer, Split Screen, Next, Create. Now my joystick is off, I see the keyboard here, I guess it's keyboard. Before that I can use only arrows left and right and it's still working. Uh, let's check this button here. Okay, it worked now. So you can choose between manual and automatic acceleration. In case my button start activating nitrogen and acceleration at the same time, my solution here would be to switch to automatic acceleration. Then if I press the acceleration button, it will only launch nitrogen. But let me show you how it works first when the same button somehow activates both acceleration and nitrogen. Now I'm on manual. Select says L, so by default some buttons may work, but it doesn't actually. I know that I can press my map buttons here and it works. And it goes back if I press this button. I just forget which one was for which function. Probably this one was to confirm. Let's check again if I have manual acceleration. Okay. And again here should confirm. Yes, it is confirmed. And let's activate my joystick. You can see the controller is connected now, it was detected. Don't forget that for this game you have to install another program to make it work. I press this button, also pressing this button to check what acceleration I have. Auto or manual, manual. Same button actually would close this window. And then confirm. Now we are ready to go keyboard and joystick together. This joystick has a cool feature, it is vibrating. Now this is the acceleration and you see this car is moving. Let's stop it. And this is nitrogen. See, nitrogen. I'll put this aside now. It will vibrate sometimes. You can hear the sound of vibration. And let's check the keyboard now. Forward. If I press acceleration, it would also start nitrogen. Just see this. Or actually, it's not starting the nitrogen yet. That's good, so this time it's working better. And I can drift because I was able to press the brakes. Nitrogen still not activated. So as you remember, I mapped these four buttons with these four keys here. So we know that this is nitrogen and also this one is nitrogen. Let's check. Yeah, you see it's working. So if I press now this button here, it should also activate nitrogen. Let me press this button. 
it's break and then nitrogen yes it works now so I was able even to fix my problem so I can play with manual acceleration somehow when I installed this program for the first time when I was pressing acceleration it will also activate uh, the nitrogen function so as you can see now it all works correctly this is how you do it